Hi, and welcome to this new video. My name is Sergio, I'm a computer vision consultant, developer and course instructor, and I help companies, freelancers to easily and efficiently build computer vision projects. Today we're going to see how through computer vision we can read analog meters. Uh, to start, you might have an observation which will be totally legit and will be, can't we just switch analog meters with digital new meters? And the answer is, of course, yes, but in some cases, uh, either for very high cost, it will be not convenient to change the meters or for some reason, uh, it's not possible in some moment to change the meters that are there. There can be gas meter, water meter, electricity meter, whatever you want that have an analogic meter, we can read that. And why is this useful? Is this useful because by reading that you can have in real time like the results so you can read and get the information in real time so i'm not going to waste time i will just go straight to the point of what you can get by reading analogic meters through computer vision uh, let me increase a bit the size of this the idea is that the analogic meter will be connected to a server a machine and i'm going to show you later a solution that we can use to do such thing so that in real time you have the reading so you can access like some website and you have the reading of your meter so even uh, if you are far away from the location you can read the meter in real time but most important you can have a warning so you have daily reading and if the system noticed that the read is there is something not right maybe there it's too high in comparison with like the previous days or the previous months and you can get a warning in real time either on the website either on your phone if you integrate this with an sms system to just get some warning when you decide like what what is the threshold for the reading so you could have something like this a control panel where you have like now i'm this is just an example with two meters we have hot water meter here is the count cold water meter so we have one and two this is from in real time from the camera and then also for the reading you can get a graph for the months and you can compare the reading of both meter of course you can add as many meters as you wish this can be accessible from the computer or at the same time also from a phone so i'm just giving you an idea of a control panel that you can have with the reading on a phone it will be the same but just you see this vertically and you can access that through any smartphone you have so how can we build uh, such thing now i'm going to give you guidelines uh, on how from scratch you can do uh, such things so let's start uh, first we start on the technical side i will just give you some ideas and later we will dive deeper a bit more into the final aspect so how to move this information into a machine so that you can read it from uh, your computer uh, so we start uh, right here from let me hide this one so let's start let's focus only on the left side where we have the two analogic meter we can read this so we position a webcam where we have uh, this meter so there will be a camera <laughs> let's say something like this so there will be a camera watching both meter in real time so a camera just far away a few centimeter, <laughs> centimeter centimeters from this so second camera both camera could be connected to a server or very easy to a raspberry pi or any small device so here we could have a raspberry pi which could be our server because it doesn't require much power to do such things so raspberry pi will definitely do its job so we can have raspberry here if you have many cameras of course you will need much more power so instead of a raspberry you could have a computer a server machine but just keep in mind uh, you have many solutions right here so camera pointing right here what will be inside this raspberry or server so let me put server so it will be clear it's not only a raspberry we will have a software built with opencv for computer vision so opencv software 
the software. So uh, what what is the purpose of the OpenCV software? The OpenCV, we use it for computer vision. So the purpose is read the meters and give uh, gives uh, and get from that like numbers. So like we get like the reading into numbers. And so we go to the image that we have right here. So that's what we can get with OpenCV. So open, the OpenCV software will convert the frames from the camera to the real numbers. So for these meters, we will have, this one is the reading would be 0, 4, 6, 7, 8, 0, 0. So OpenCV can read this and we will get the number. And also for this one, we will have the reading, which will be 5, 8, 7, 1, 4, 5. And of course, we get this in real time. So each time there is a new update on the meter, of course, OpenCV is going to detect that our software is going to detect that. What can we have from the OpenCV software right here? We could connect this through internet directly to a uh, hosting where we, so we will have our data online in real time. So a hosting, just to make things more simple, could be a website, let's say that we have our website, which is called uh, water, reading.com so we access to waterreading.com that could be this website and in real time okay this waterreading.com and we have the reading for our machines so of course you can put the website you want and you can access that from any side of the world in real time another thing that you could do if what you want is also wording so Let's say that you want to be sure that if the count is more than, now it's 467,000, and you want to know if it reaches 500,000. So you could do something like this. On this water reading website, you could put a very simple script which sends an email. So if the counter is greater than 500,000, then what can you do right here? Then you can send an email. Send an email, or you can send an SMS. Or, or it could be like, like WhatsApp message, it could be Facebook, like any anything you want, just whatever you want the information, you can get the information so cameras it doesn't matter what the readings are right here they can be also different than what you see right here uh, this just like they have like the, the structure of the numbers can be different they could have many other settings inside that's fine of course this is a part that you need to develop uh, through OpenCV and from this you can get in real time the information now, I also want to give you some input on how you could develop this one. Uh, let me increase this image right here. Just to give you an idea with OpenCV, with computer vision, how you, you could make uh, such readings. Uh, we could read the position of the pointer, this uh, red one, but also we can read the numbers. To read the numbers, we could create a very small deep learning model to read the numbers. So we select this area through OpenCV and computer vision. We select these areas separately and we a very simple, small model. We can read the digits. Uh, such model do exist already, but probably they will not work properly. So it must be calibrated or just we need to retrain the model to read these things. In general, it's not a complex operation. Uh, this one and also read you we can read this pointer uh, this pointer at the same time it's not complex we can make a circle 
Of course, it will be better than the circle I'm drawing with my hand. And this circle, and then we detect the pointer. And on this pointer, we have a line of the pointer which is matching with the circle. So based on this basic geometry, where the pointer is touching the circle, we know uh, the reading. We can associate in each position of the circle, we can associate a number, like in this case, uh, we have number zero, one, and so on. So it will be on the circle that we have. So we have zero, we have one, two. In this case, we have seven point something. So this red line is touching that point. And of course, through OpenCV with Python, we can get this information quite easily. This, of course, we need to be adapted for like, depending on the middle that you have. But of course, I want to just to show you that this is possible and it's not such a complex operation to do such thing. And this is all I wanted to say. I'm just trying to bring a lot of new ideas on how computer vision can help industries either to save costs, to improve their production. Or in this case, a solution could save costs, could also improve somehow the technology of your company to make it more digital. Uh, if you're a company, you need such services or, or you need similar things with computer vision, you can feel free to contact me to ask for a quote. Uh, if you are a developer or researcher, you are learning all these things and you want to know how you can detect and track object and get the basic of computer vision. I have a free workshop which lasts one hour, which is called Computer Vision Blueprint. You can sign up for free and then you can watch it. Link down below, pysource.com slash blueprint. This is all for this video. See you in the next one.